as uh, we we talked about here uh, at the beginning of the show, Francesca's there is a school teacher. Uh, she teaches the schools, tries to educate them young ones. Trying. Um, and I, it got I got fit to thinking about that the other day uh, because one of my earliest memories from school was going to music class, and I have an interesting. Uh, 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 music teacher, a couple music teachers, but I have an interesting elementary school music teacher to tell you all about. Uh, but I wanted to ask first because Francesca is a, uh, product of the Chicago public school system, which I would assume is slightly different than that of the Pikeville independent school system in Pikeville, Kentucky in the, in them, in them, their heels. Uh, so Francesca, did you, did you have music class? Was that a thing? In, in your elementary school years? Um, so yes and no. Um, I did, I started my elementary school uh, experience at a Catholic school. So I was there from kindergarten until the end of third grade. And we did not have music there. Um, I just remember my, the second grade teacher, Miss Julie, she played piano and, um, you know, she would play and we would sing like she taught us songs, but that was it. Um, and then my parents transferred me into the public school um, to start fourth grade. And um, we did not have music at the public school, but it was it, it was a language academy. So it had that going for it. And that's where my love of languages started. So, you know, while we didn't have music, it did kind of set me on this path, you know, of one of my passions. Um, so but we had a couple of teachers at the school who were musicians, right? Or who could play music yeah. and read music. So um, Dr. Zeltman, she was my seventh and eighth grade teacher and she was, she played piano. Um, so she would play, we would sing. I mean, we had like school assemblies and performances and stuff, you know, we still got to do that sort of thing, but um, not like every day we didn't have an organized class. Um, and then when I went to high school, I went to a Catholic high school in Chicago and while it is, um, it, it, it has a very good arts program, um, I was not a musician going into high school, so I didn't get to, you know, really get into the music classes. I just had music appreciation my freshman year, and that was it. So um, there are more, like, really involved, like, orchestra and choral, you know, classes, but you've kind of got to be established to get into that. Um, so, yeah, I didn't really have, like, organized music classes, but when we did have something musical, you know, I always participated and enjoyed it, you know? Um, so yeah, it's, um, I wish more schools were able to mm -hmm. have music programs, you know, not just like once a week sort of thing. Yeah, very true. So, um, and I, I definitely agree with you. We should definitely, music should be taught in school, uh, at a very early age. And the reason I say that is because it was for me, and I, I, I can attribute my love of music to a, a bunch of different places, but I can really only attribute my understanding of music at any level to Janet Housen. Um, that was the name of my elementary school uh, music teacher. And at the time when I was, you know, second, third, fourth grade, she was um, a little older um, than probably like if she had kids, they were probably in high school when I was in elementary school. Um, I don't even remember she had kids, but um, at any rate, um, she taught music and she taught music the way that I think people in the sixties and seventies were taught music. You, you learn do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, yeah. do, and you play the recorder and you play, you get to play the xylophone if you're lucky. And if you're not lucky, they make you play the tambourine. <laughs> and, you know, there's all these little roles. But Mrs. Halson was probably had more of an impact on more students than anybody ever gave her credit for. Okay. Because I think we all came out of her classes in third, fourth, fifth, sixth grade 
with at least a fundamental understanding of how music works and what different types there were and what a scale was. And some of us even learned to read music and some of us were inspired to learn how to play music. And I just really was thinking the other day about how underappreciated she was to for me and probably a lot of my friends. And she had, a, I think, a huge impact on a lot of us. And so I don't, I, I haven't heard a thing about Mrs. Housen in 35 years. I hope she's still living. If she is and she listens to this, thank you. Because here I am on a music podcast some 40 years later, and, and it has a little bit to do with uh, the education I got in Pikeville Elementary School from Janet Housen. So, oh. um, yeah, she, she had a, a big impact on a lot of us. And then <clears throat> in later years, when I got into high school, we had a band director, and this is where my musical interests and, and other things that have happened in life kind of crossed wires. We had a band director for a couple of years when I was in junior high and high school. His name was Lee Burke, and one of Lee's side jobs was a morning show DJ on the radio. Okay. So I was a big fan of, and he played the drums, which was my favorite thing back then. So I was a big Lee Burke fan, and when I ended up being in his band class or whatever it was in, in junior high school, I thought he was the coolest um, until the day he had uh, the activity in class. One day was write down the lyrics to any song, you know, all the lyrics to, and I wrote down all the lyrics to whatever song I wrote down. And when it got to the chorus, because I was used to reading lyric sheets, I put in parentheses chorus. And so he reads a few of them randomly to the class or as part of this exercise, he reads mine and he does this. He gets down, blah, 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 blah. Chorus. <laughs> and I was like, you dick, you know? So he didn't call me out, but I knew he knew it was me. And I was just like, you asshole. So anyway. Yeah. But anyway, Lee was, Lee was a morning show DJ guy too. Wrote me one of those kind of funny slapstick morning writing comedy bits kind of guys. Yeah. And, and I always thought he was cool. I went to his senior recital at Pikeville College when he was a percussionist. I was probably six years old or something. And, uh, that was, he was one of the reasons I got fascinated with the drums. Oh, so okay. all these music teachers had a big impact on me, despite the fact that I have absolutely no musical talent, nor could I play anything. I could barely play the drums. I keep a, a beat, but I wasn't any good. Um, and I just wanted to take a moment to say thanks to the music teachers out there because you, you have a bigger impact than you probably know. So there you go. 